Hello everyone and welcome to the official YouTube channel of Royal Defence Academy, the best free learning platform for your Senate school, military school and RAMC entrance exam coaching. So if you want to build your career in army as an army officer, a respected and peaceful army officer, do join Royal Defence Academy. We are providing the best and free classes for your training. Now, today we are going to take the most important topic of your syllabus that is light. The most important phenomena going on in this world is light. So just imagine a situation where you are not able to see anything around you. You are not able to see your parents, teachers, whatever you are writing you are not able to see. You are not able to see the colors. Everything turns black suddenly. How will you live your life that? So for this God has gifted us with a very immense gift that is light. Light makes us visible, uh, light makes the colors visible to us, everything. The, just see, when you are studying, the pen is of different color, the copy is of different color, your teacher's skin, your skin, everything is of different color. This phenomena is totally due to light. So, light is the basic form of energy which enables us to see what is going around, what are the colors of everything, how we are moving, how we are living our life, all we can see is due to light. So this light undergoes two major phenomena that are reflection and refraction. So when you get ready, when you go to school, you look yourself in the mirror that how you are looking, how the dress is looking on you, how your hairstyle is looking. That is due to the process of reflection. When you, you, uh, when you see yourself in the mirror, just imagine a mirror is standing in front of me and I am looking myself in the mirror. The image of myself will reflect back in my eyes. Due to that light rays, I will be able to see myself. This process is reflection. Reflection is basically bouncing back of light in the same medium. For example, in the, in the mirror, I will be seeing my image in air. The light rays will come from my body to the mirror and come back into and this phenomena will be going into the air. The process of reflection, reflection occurs in the same medium. Reflection is basically the bouncing back of light in the same medium. So now assume this diagram. The yellow line is your mirror. The polished surface that you are looking yourself into is yellow line. The purple line is an incident to yellow line. Incident line, a normal line that is perpendicular to the surface of plane that is this mirror a line purple line is per, is perpendicular that is the angle between these two lines is 90 degrees 90 degrees both of them are perpendicular to each other now the pink line is our incident line incident line the ray of light that is falling on the mirror this light will form at the point this and it will move back opposite direction it will bounce back it will come from that direction and move back into opposite direction now the two angles that are forming here, I and R. I is angle of incidence, R is angle of reflection. Both of them will be equal. This is a major part of reflection. Both the angles will be equal. Both the phenomena will occur in same medium. That's why there will be not at all even a single change into the angle. Now that this phenomenon is totally opposite in the case of reflection. Refraction. Now in this we are using polished surface. In this we are using non-polished surface. For example, you, you, are, you drink water in a glass cup or a glass mug, it is transparent. The water you drink is transparent, the oil you see is transparent. So this phenomenon is related to transparent materials and this is related to polished materials. Now you, are see, you see that when a light travels from one medium to another, it bends, it changes its direction. For example, the bending of light while traveling from one medium to another is called as refraction. It happens when the medium gets changes, maybe dense or rare. What do you mean by dense and rare? Now if you have studied density, density is related to how the molecules are arranged, how close the molecules of the particles are arranged. If the molecules are too close then it will be called dense. If the molecules are too away, far away from each other then it will be called as rarer medium. Now we are talking in respect to each other. For example, air and water. Water is denser because the molecules are close to each other and air is rarer because the molecules are far away from each other. Now a light ray. First medium that is rarer. Second medium that is denser. This diagram is of, of 
दिस डायग्राम इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रेयर टू डेंसर मीडियम अपवर्ड मीडियम इज रेयर एंड लोअर मीडियम इज डेंसर लाइट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस रीजन टू दिस रीजन अगेन द स्टैटिस्टिक्स आर सेम द येलो लाइन इज अवर प्लेन द पर्पल लाइन इज नॉर्मल दैट इज परपेंडिकुलर टू प्लेन pink line is incident line when this incident ray will come at the point it will refle- refract itself it will bend towards the normal when it will move from r to d that is rarer to denser medium it will come in this direction that is towards the normal this phenomena is called as refraction and as you can see it is not at all a straight line the angles will definitely change the angle of incidence will not at all equal to angle of refraction that's why i is not equal to r here r is angle of refraction here r is angle of reflection both of them are different okay so refraction is a phenomena of bending of light reflection is phenomena of bouncing back of light and it is done in same medium it happens in different medium and all the mediums are transparent it can be different it can be oil it can be water it can be juice but it need to be transparent so we have studied two basic topics of light these are these two topics for a big chapter okay that is related to light so we have covered two major topics that is reflection and refraction i hope you understand the topic well do share like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the video